I agree. As long as he cleans up the tread marks that he left behind. Inside are soap and scrub brushes. And since you're gonna be spending a lot of time on your knees, I've included these. job. Man, I can't believe you framed the whole room in a day. It's pretty cool. Yeah, well, you're a good worker, Nick. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, bud. Hey. I'm, I'm not Nick. Can, my name's not Nick. I'm Jesus. Your son. And look, I know, I'm sorry I didn't tell you right away. I just wanted to get the chance to know you. You've got to leave. Why? I can't be around you. But no, you don't have to worry. It's not like I want anything from you. I can't legally be around you. I'll come back here again. to your arm. They took me to the hospital. I, I told the doctors I fell. Well, did those boys do that to you? Did they break your arm? As long as I don't tell, they're gonna give me my own room and, and, and food and video games, anything I want. They're gonna protect me now. They will protect you. Yes, they will. I finally have the power for the first time since I've been in the system. I have the power. Thank you anyway. Hey, Jack. Okay, what about the other kids in the home? If you protect the people that let this happen to you, you're not gaining any power, you're giving it up for every kid in foster care. I'm really sorry I pretended to be your friend. It's okay. If I let them take me out of this home, they're just gonna put me in another one where I won't have any control, so I'm, I'm sorry. get it. Some people don't want to be saved. Everyone wants to be saved. They just sometimes need permission. Hey. Thanks for the knee pads. Obviously, you're off the hook for those fries, although I know it wasn't a serious offer. Who says? I still like to take you out some time. I'll even let you borrow these. Oh, you're disgusting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, I don't know why I do that around you, okay? You make me say stupid things. Oh, so it's my fault? Yes, yes, because you really are so freaking hot. I'll just call when I'm outside or I'll take you. Fine. When? I'll go out with you. Uh, when? I don't know. Text me. Hey. What are you doing? I'm getting my affairs in order. <laughs> It's not funny. Well, I really do think that we need to update our wills, and uh, I'd like to talk to you about Brandon having access to his hand money when he turns 18, um, just in case anything happens to the both of us. Um, and there's one more thing that I would like to discuss with you. Your power of attorney. Sharon mentioned it because she thought you came by school yesterday to talk to me. Well, I did come by it, actually, but you were um, you were in your office alone with Monty with the door closed, so I thought I just would... When are we ever going to get past this? I'm trying to, Lena. By giving Sharon your power of attorney? 
I did that because I don't want you to have to make the decision to pull the plug if, if, uh, if it comes to that. Or maybe you're afraid I'll pull it because you're convinced I'm in love with Monty. I don't, I don't think you're in love with her. But, you know, what if you... What if you fall in love with her because I'm, I'm ugly, because I'm... What are you talking about? Lena, you didn't want me to get that mastectomy because you were worried about our sex life and our intimacy, and I might not like the way I look, that you might not like the way I look. Honey, I said that when you didn't need this surgery. When I was trying to talk you out of doing something that wasn't necessary. When, when having it wasn't potentially going to save your life. This is different. The result is the same. You know, I'm going to have scars and I'm going to have hard artificial breasts that I can't even feel. I won't have nipples unless I get them tattooed on. I won't be beautiful like Monty. I'm, I just, I won't. And, I, you know, I don't care about the surgery. I'm not afraid of this. That I don't, I'm... I'm You're not going to lose me. And what's beautiful about you is so much more than your body. It's your heart and soul. Your mind. Your laugh. Your, your courage and your compassion. Honey, I love this life that we've built together. Our kids. Our family. You're my home. I'm so sorry that I said anything that ever made you feel like I wouldn't. I would always find you attractive and, and sexy and beautiful because I will. I, I always will. I'm scared. Walked here. Yeah, I did. And my sister needed the car. But it gave me a chance to think about what you said. And yes, I am getting over someone. And, and sometimes it's easier to do when someone else comes along. But that doesn't mean that that person is the rebound person, okay? That that, that person can also just be the one. You know, like, like when Romeo thought he was in love with Rosalind, but he was, until he met Juliet. And then they killed themselves. Well, yeah, but they were still meant to be. So what if it's complicated? <laughs> yep. I don't suppose you're like a nanny, <laughs> right? No, I'm a mother. I have a two-year-old son. When I told you things were complicated, I didn't just mean your side of things. Adams Foster. Okay, you're on the list.
you for seeing me. AJ won't see any of us. What do you want me to do? Give him permission to have a foster family that loves him and will take care of him until you're out of here. Are you crazy? How long have you been working with him? Just a few days. Okay, but why would he say that he couldn't be around me legally? I don't know. Maybe Dana took out a restraining order against him. Can everyone come downstairs, please? Does anybody have any questions? How long are you going to be in the hospital? Just a few days. Are you, will you be okay after? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's why I'm doing this, so that, um, make sure that I'm okay for a long time. What can we do? What can we hope? Um, well, you can, you can make sure you do your chores and, and fold your own laundry, and that would help a lot. And, um, I think, Stay close. That would be great because I think um, you're meeting together as a family that's probably more healing than any medicine. Hey, group hug. Huh?
Uh, but, but aren't you going to be like too busy with junior class president and all that? I lost, Lexi one. I'm Jesus, your son. You gotta leave. Why? Look, I can't legally be around you. Do you know about privatized homes? Is there something we could do about that? The most important thing for us to do right now is to look at the big picture. We're doing a skin sparing mastectomy. How can I help? I'm scared. 35% of foster kids will be incarcerated at some point before they reach age 18. 66% of foster kids who age out will end up either homeless, in jail, or dead within one year. How could we expect otherwise when this is how we care for them? I was one of the lucky ones. After seven different foster placements, I finally found a home and a family. But as someone who barely survived it, I can tell you the system is severely broken. Help kids like me find the homes they deserve. Support SB 3301. So what did you think? Oh, it's, it's very, very powerful. Yeah, yeah we think so. Um, I, I, I guess we just didn't realize that Kelly would be supporting some new piece of legislation. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I assumed you knew. We're trying to make some, some real change here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and the state house is where that happens. Right, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> We're not saying that it's not, but it's just you're endorsing a bill that we know nothing about, Cal. Have you read it? No, not like word for word, okay. but I know that it's trying to reform the system and I trust Justina. Well, we certainly don't mean to suggest. We kind of are. You know, Callie, your moms are absolutely right. You should all read it. I'll get you a copy as soon as I can. Thank you. That would be great. Appreciate it. <clears throat> you know, there is something I've been waiting to tell you, Callie. Um, apparently, the work we've been doing has been getting a lot of attention, and um, we have been invited to the White House next month. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, they're having a symposium on foster care, and they want us to be there. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, of course, we need to look at the calendar, Callie's uh, schoolwork and all that. Of course. Um, okay, I'm gonna go, and uh, I'll talk to you later, Callie. I'll let myself out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you okay? I'm fine. Bye. Take it easy. It's not been that long since surgery. What is wrong with you guys? Excuse me? It's the White House. Yes, it is a great opportunity, Callie, and hopefully you can go. Hopefully. You have a lot on your plate already, honey. You can't let Foss and Found and all of this distract you from your schoolwork. It's not. What about your senior project? You still haven't even declared what you're doing. I have it figured out. I'm, I'm going to talk to Rita tomorrow. Okay, good. So what's the problem? Callie, we really don't know Justina at all. But I do, and, and she's doing a lot for me. And why are you always so suspicious of everyone? No, hold on. Wanting to read the bill that you are being used to support is not being suspicious, Callie. It's being smart. I get it. Oh, unless you guys are afraid of home invasion. Oh. Hey, Callie. Is it now where you come from? Is where you belong? Nothing I would trade. I wouldn't have it any other way. You're surrounded by love and you're wanted. So I'll never feel alone. You are home with me, right where. I just want you guys to know how bad I feel about what happened. I know my brother did a terrible thing. 
And then we just took off after all the... You're doing great. After all the, the nice stuff you guys did for me, I should have made Ty turn himself in, but I was just, I was afraid I wasn't going to see him again. So anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. We get it, AJ. Family is everything. It's good of you to come here and say all that, AJ. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. I'll wait outside. Hey, uh, you got a sec? Well, I, see I just want to know how you were doing. Well. well, for 10 days since the surgery, I'm doing pretty well. Never know on the mountainside when I see I see the open arms. It's really brave. Oh. Which part? Always wait. Me running away and missing my grandma's funeral. But it never come. No, I mean. I know what you meant, Kelly. Did they tell you I tried to come see you in Juvie? Like a few times? When I see you. I have no idea what your brother had done when I told Steph where you were, I swear to you, and as soon as I found out, I called you. We heard from Ty. Got a letter from It's good. Is he okay? I'm gonna go in the car. I do, I do, sister. I do, 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 I you are. You're disgusting. And what are you doing here? I don't want it. I don't want anything from you. seen you in like forever yeah you know I've just I've been so busy you know tell me about it this whole student government thing is like a lot of work mm. okay I am um, better get to class hey how's your mom a lot better. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. So does that mean I get to take you out now, or...? You are really gunning for those french fries, aren't you? Oh, no. No, no, no. Because you kept me waiting for two weeks. You owe me french fries plus interest. Yeah, it's a full-on date now, all four food groups. Fine. Sweet. Hey, where's he this? Is he sick today or something? So... For the Student Council's Community Outreach Project this year, here's what I was thinking. I thought if we take this space in City Heights and turn it into like a park or a community garden, it's very impressive. And I was thinking if I design the gardens and oversee the execution, it could also be my senior thesis. Yeah, I don't see why not. 
Uh, actually, since the school funds the outreach program, it could be perceived that we are also funding your thesis, which is against the rules. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll think of something else. What if you got the materials donated? Um, uh, yeah, my, I, I guess that could work. Yeah, I bet if you show local nurseries what we just saw, they'll be lining up to help. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a great idea. Yeah. I'll try. Thank you. <laughs> She's an incredible young woman, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Where did you go this morning? What? You missed first period. Where were you? It's none of your business. Fine. I'll tell Mama. Hey. I went to give Gabe his tool belt back. What? Why? Uh, because I didn't want it anymore. So, why not throw it away? Because I wanted to tell him that we know what he did. Who cares? I do, all right? I care. You want to write a paper about me? Yeah, for my senior thesis. Well, what about me? <laughs> um, I don't know, like how good you are at your job and everything you do here at GU. I haven't really like figured it out yet, but you know, you're like my mentor. Plus, my moms are all over me to pick something, so I told them I was gonna do this. <laughs> well, I'm very honored. I'm sure we could work something out. So you know what? I was looking at the new and improved Fost and Found app. It looks really great. Yeah, I know, right? I think it looks like so real and important. Yeah, it's impressive. I, um, I got invited to the White House. What? For the foster care symposium? Yeah, I mean, if my mom's let me go. Oh, come on, why wouldn't they let you go? <sighs> I guess they're not too excited about the work I've been doing with Justina. Why not, what's going on? Um, she's been working on this foster reform bill. Oh, she's the one behind that. Yeah, um, Steph got like really weird and suspicious and said she wanted to read the whole thing. Well, you know, honey, they're just being your moms. I mean, that's their job. But you know they're really proud of you, right? I guess, they're so annoying. <laughs> what? Uh, it's funny to hear you sound like a normal teenager. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> How's that for a normal teenager? Yeah, that's good too. Mm. So have you read it, the bill? No, no, she hasn't sent it over yet. Mm. I did. How'd you get it? I'm very connected. <laughs> it's my business, it wasn't hard. And? There's some good things in it. Uh-huh. But it does allocate over 50% of the state foster care budget to privatized homes. What? No, okay, that doesn't make any sense because Justina's against privatization. Not if she supports this bill, she isn't. Hey. Hey, stranger. Long time no see. Guess seeing my kid's car seat really scared you off, huh? Actually, uh, my mom had surgery, so I had to take some time off. Oh. Sorry. Is she okay? Yeah. Good. Well, it's probably a good thing that we got to you know, put the brakes on things. Too young to be dating a woman with a kid, right? Don't tell me what I think. And the big highlight of my day was being shown up by my boss in front of the student body president. That was great. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, it's frustrating. 
Hey, so, um, I'm kind of worried about Jesus. What? What? Why? Well, um, he found our birth dad. Hey, Jesus, get in here, please. But that's not all. The guy's a sex offender. I was looking him up online, and he's on the sex offender registry thingy. Look, I only worked with him for a few days. You worked with him, Jesus? Steph, calm down. I didn't tell them that part. <sighs> no, no, wait. Okay, listen to me, the two of you. You are never to go near this man again. Do you hear me? Right? You have no idea who you are dealing with. He could be very, very dangerous. And this is not me overreacting. This is not me giving you a parental warning that you can just ignore because you think that I'm being ridiculous. This could be very serious. You understand me? No, no, I want to hear you say yes. Yes. Yes, thank you. Hey, man. I, uh, I wasn't going to say anything because it seemed like it was never actually going to happen, but um, I'm taking your sister out tonight. Oh, who, Kelly? No, your twin sister. No. No, no, no. That's, that's impossible, see, because we have this no dating each other's friends policy that she made. Well, I guess she's in violation. Yeah. I guess she is. <clears throat> well, hey, look, now that the cat's out of the bag, I mean, I could use some advice. I want to, you know, impress her. So tell me, what should I do? I got just the thing. Whoa, you look great. Thank you. Um, I want you to meet my mom's. Hey. Uh, hey. This is Nick. Hello. Hi, nice to see you again. Is it uh, your challenger out there? It is, yeah. Oh, you know, Macaw. Yeah? Well, I actually, I it's not. Pretty much all of the cops in town they go like two miles over the speed limit. I will hear about it. And I'll probably have to impound your car and you'll never see my beautiful daughter again. She's kidding. Well, so. Um, where, where are you guys headed tonight? Yeah. Oh, we're just gonna grab a burger, you know? Come on. We're gonna be late to pick up Lexi. Oh, double date. That sounds good. You caught his eye, surf girl, I wonder why, surf girl, you won't try, surf girl, to see him, he's high and dry, surf girl, it makes me cry, surf girl, just please reply, surf girl, with yes, to is not a good idea. Give me one reason why not. <laughs> Among other things, I just don't have the time. Well, what if I found you the time? That makes even less sense than the song you just made up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't answer the question. Thanks for coming over. Of course. You sounded upset on the phone, so what's going on? I uh, read the bill. Okay. And it, it's uh, totally pro-privatization. No, I mean, well, that's part of it, sure, but it's it's a it's a comprehensive. Look no, at the no. Way please don't talk to me like I'm stupid. Okay, you know how I feel about privatized homes. My friend Kiara was almost killed in one of these places. Callie, I don't mean to talk down to you, but I would appreciate a chance to explain. I think I've earned that right, don't you? After all I've done to help you? 
as part of more comprehensive reform, privatization is incredibly effective. By taking money out of the hands of bureaucrats and spending it directly on the kids who need help and the families who are helping them, we can get so much more done. If all the money isn't going to the kids, the companies doing the placement are making a profit. Well, why shouldn't they make a profit when they're providing a superior service and taking big risks to do it? Think about it. When something bad happens in a privatized home, who's responsible? The company, the CEO. Right now, if something goes wrong, everyone in the system just passes the buck and nothing ever changes. This all just blows up the system. Yeah, because it needs to be blown up. All right, think about it. Your school, Anchor Beach. It's a charter school, right? Yeah, so they're taking government money out of the system and they're using it to create a better, more responsive, more creative education for you, right? Yeah, well then that's just what we're doing with foster care. Doesn't that make sense? So, Lexi, tell me, what's it like being class president? I mean, you're like the most popular girl in school now, right? Um, not really, um, but it's cool. It's a lot of work, but um, I kind of love it. Well, I bet you really good at it. I mean, I can't think of anyone who could do a better job than you. I mean, can you, Mariana? No, she's just pretty awesome. Let's go see what's on the jukebox. I'm sorry, he just said this was your favorite place. I'm a vegetarian. Oh, God. I think it's called payback. <laughs> yeah. So what's your deal? Are you even happy to be out with me, or is this just like some master plan to annoy your sister? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am stoked to be out with you, really. You sure? <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Enjoy. You're not really gonna eat that, are you? Oh, my mom's burger? Please, woman. I had my first one when I was six. No way. For real? I wanted to order it, but my dad said if I did, I had to eat the whole thing, so, uh... So you did? You were six. Yeah, <laughs> threw up a couple of times. My dad told me we weren't leaving until I finished the last bite, so... Maybe I shouldn't say this, but that kind of makes your dad sound like a jerk. You don't know the half of it. So I was talking to Ty's lawyer uh, about his hearing tomorrow. And it turns out that he's not just being charged with hit and run, but he's also being charged with grand theft auto. The truck belonged to Joe's father. I mean, unless Joe got his permission, Ty technically stole the car. Oh, come on, Steph. We all know that Ty needs to face charges for the crimes he did, but not for the crimes he didn't. He's looking at up to five years. Okay, what do you expect me to do, Mike? Well, I was hoping you could speak on his behalf. <laughs> Is that why you brought AJ over to apologize the other day? What? To soften me up to advocate for Ty? No, that was completely AJ's idea. Okay, look, this might help you understand why Ty did what he did. If you could just take a look at it. Thanks. Bye. exactly know what he's expecting me to do. I don't have control over this. You told me, when I first came to live here, you told me that I wasn't disposable. So why is Ty? Kelly, it's complicated. No, it's, it's not. It's not really. It's 
this? It's a date. You said you'd go out with me if you had the time. Well, we got 15 minutes. <laughs> Come on, it's like a uh, speed dating. And you know it's gonna beat that granola bar you eat every night, right? <laughs> At least they're out together. I'm not sure Mariana's too thrilled about it, but it makes me feel better. Do you, do you want some help? No, I'm fine. Okay. How's it healing? It's, you know, it's okay. Still can't feel anything below my clavicle. Well, hopefully the numbness will wear off soon. Yeah, time will tell. Oh, that's interesting. What? I had the guys down at the station track down Gabe's record, and you're not gonna believe this. Oh, I think I'm gonna bust. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what happens when you eat half a cow. <laughs> Would you look at this guy? Hey, easy. What? This guy's going too slow. Idiot. You're not gonna let him get away with that, are you? Come on, man. Burn this fool. What's going on? Hey. He can't touch you, bro. Have a little bit of fun. Come on. No, we could have been in another accident. And after all our mom is going through, you're an ass. Hey, wait, come on. Mariana. Yeah. And for the record, not fun. Whoops. Come <sighs> on. Nobody got hurt. Hey, look. All right, look. I'm sorry, okay? Please, can you just get back in the car? Screw you. You want to kill somebody? It ain't going to be us. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, that was very tasty. Nobody ever makes me a meal. <laughs> well, I didn't make it, no. but I'm glad you liked it. You deserve to be taken care of sometimes. Mommy! Hey! What are you doing here? I've been texting you all night. Uh, I'm working. Yeah, no, I can see that. Um, Brandon, this is Eddie, my um, Mason's father. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. I got called into work early. I had early so, so you gotta take Mason. Eddie, I can't just keep him behind the bar. Why not? You got one kid here already. You figure it out. Day. Huh? I missed you. My my ship's over. I I could watch him. Are you sure? Yeah. So, um what's going on with your mom? Um she had a double mastectomy. Are you serious? Why didn't you tell me? I think... I guess I've just kind of been avoiding you. It's not your fault. When you won the election, I mean, 
you weren't even here last year and you're still more popular than me. And I just, whenever I hear how great you're doing, it kind of makes me feel like a loser. If it makes you feel any better, student council is seriously kicking my butt. It is like so much work. <laughs> it does make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I'm just going to pick this up now. It's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, we don't want to play with knives. Here, you know what's better than a knife? Cookies. A spoon. Do you want the spoon? Hey, don't put that in your mouth. It was on the floor. Here you go. Your spoons are much better than, than no. knives. You don't want this. You should try. You should, the spoon's really fun. Look, it's better than the knife. It's better than the knife. Mom. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, you good? It hasn't all been this bad, I promise. <laughs> oh, you did great. Oh, here's your spoon. Um, oh, well, they're letting me off early. Mom, it's cut things. Let's cut Mom, it's cut things. Yeah, yeah. They're okay. in the big old fire. Yeah, there you go. Do you want to say bye to Brandon? Girl. Say bye, Brandon. Oh, bye, Mason. Bye, Brandon. Bye, Brandon. I've never felt this way before. Just let go of me. Oh, you forgot. Defendant, Mr. Hansdale is charged with felony hit and run, reckless driving, driving without insurance, and grand theft auto. Are you ready to enter a plea? We are, Your Honor. We plead guilty to all charges. In that case, we will move on to sentencing. Can I help you? Yes, Your Honor. My name is Stephanie Adams Foster. I am a parent of the youths involved in the crash. I would like to offer a, a victim impact statement, if I may, please. Approach. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, as uh, the victim's mother, um, I certainly would like to see justice done. But as an officer investigating the case, I feel that I also must tell you that I am confident that Tyrone Hensdale did not steal the truck that he was driving. Mr. Olson claimed otherwise. Joe Olson is afraid that he will be charged with obstructing justice. Your Honor, I brought along with me my case notes and I hope that you will consider them before sentencing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Your Honor, I... I do not feel that this was a malicious crime. I believe that these were the actions of a frightened young man. If I had had the experiences that he had with the justice system, quite frankly, I would be frightened too. Mr. Hensdale first entered into juvie when he was arrested at the age of 11 for throwing a rock into an abandoned building. At the age of 14, he was arrested for loitering. At 15, it was petty theft, and the list goes on from there. Tyrone Hensdale has just really never been given a fair shake. While I'm not prepared to say that I forgive him, I most certainly do understand why he did what he did. That is why I'm asking the court for lenience. All right, go on, tell her. <laughs> well, we got all the plants and materials donated. Thanks to Monty. Why, why thanks to Monty? Because she came with me. Those guys at the garden store had no chance when she started working her magic on them. <laughs> so, are we good? Can this be my thesis? I don't see why not. <laughs> Yay. 
Okay, um, I'm off to class. Thank you so much for everything. It's gonna be great. <sighs> What's the problem now? Are you gonna dig the holes for her too? I mean, this, this okay. is totally inappropriate. <sighs> Encouraging a promising student? Expanding our community outreach? No, involving yourself in a student's thesis. Sally can't be perceived as getting special treatment, Monty, that there are rules that... Yes, of course there are, but sometimes for the greater good, we bend them a little. It... You didn't seem to mind when I bent them to get your son back in school. Excuse me, I've got a conference call. I've conferred with the DA who has agreed to remove the charges of grand theft auto against Mr. Hensdale. However, in light of the defendant's previous record, I cannot let these additional offenses go unpunished. I order the defendant, Tyrone Hensdale, remanded into custody for a period of 18 months. gonna be fine. I'll be out before you know it. Until then, you got Mike, right? He's, he's gonna take care of you. Be good, okay? Well, it's better than five years. Still kinda sucks. Thanks for 